Okay, y'all, I'm back. I'm back. I'm back at it. And there's been a new discovery. I went. To, I had to cool off. I was too hot in that damn hoodie, sweatshirt, jacket thingy. Anyways, um, I found the issue. I believe I found the issue. I dug up in there and I noticed something weird. I was like, what is that? What is that? And I think I found the problem. It was a spoon caught up in there. It was a spoon. I feel like now I didn't I didn't unplug it or anything. But I feel like now the garbage disposal will be fixed. I went to Lowe's, bought a plunger, the wooden part because it said you need the wooden, you know, use the bottom of the plunger. Basically, I'm fixing this garbage disposal all based off of Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube videos. So Stir it around one time. Yeah, now it's moving. Now it's moving. Because this, I think this little spoon, this little, little teaspoon. Might have been a teaspoon. Let's see what happens now. Baby. 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 Ah. Ah. Now, I would have spent hundreds of dollars on a damn plumber and had a stranger in my house. But I did the research, put in the work, dug around, investigated, and fixed it. Woo! Now I just want to put something in. Now, let me get something out the refrigerator. Just put it in. You know what? I do got... I should... I think I got a little bit. Let me see what I got up here. Ooh, a mango? No. No, I want to get that up. No, I want to get that up. Nope, I don't want to get that up. What do I got in here that I want to put, give up to the garbage disposal guys? Ah! A few taco shells. See, TikTok and YouTube do be working, but also the help from you guys, from my followers. Saying what not, but you know what I should have did in the first place before I even went to Lowe's is dig around in that dang garbage disposal and look and see what's up. I should put a lemon in there. You know what? Let me go get one off the tree. You say y'all I seen lemon, put a lemon in there three times. So let me I was gonna put some taco shells up in there, but you know what? Yeah. Let me put a lemon. Let me get a lemon. I got a lemon tree. This California, baby. Oh, that one's, oh, you know, little, it's only big lemons. Guess I have to eat some of it. Come on, give it to me. Let go. Lemons. I'm going to put the leaves in there and everything. Now, let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm not going to put the lemon in here whole, but we going to. All of that, I wasted baking soda. Well, I didn't waste no baking soda, but it definitely, ooh, spiders, 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 lots of spiders, lots of spiders. Fuck, lots of spiders. <laughs> lots of spiders. Lots of spiders. Okay, I'm just, with the tree, with the lemon tree leaves, let's see. I know that's right. Chop it up. Ooh, that smells good, even leaves. Chop it up. Get that. Chop that up. I just need to put the leaves in there. I don't need to put the actual lemon in. That smells good. I can do anything. I can do anything. Who fixed that garbage disposal? I did. I did. I fixed the garbage disposal. Put ice in there. Somebody said put some ice in there. Okay, I'm put some ice in the garbage disposal. Okay. Ice. Give me ice. I'm putting the ice in the garbage disposal. I'm getting 
give me the cube dice. Give me some damn ice. in the garbage disposal. Chop it up, 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 chop it up. I'm making snow cones now. It's like a damn icy. I fixed my garbage disposal myself in less than 30 minutes, this was the culprit, this little spoon, which I don't even know what this little spoon is for. Y'all had me over here boiling water. I forgot I was boiling water. Oh, shit. Let me go ahead and pour that down there on the drain, too. She know how to fix stuff. She know how to fix stuff. I also installed my own bidet. See? This this is... Now, if I had a man, I would act like I didn't know how to do none of this. I would, I would be like... Nada. Wouldn't do. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't do. I'd be like, I need help. It's broken. Fix it. Oh my God, you saved me. You fixed it. Because I just recently learned. Well, I didn't recently learn. Somebody told me this before, but I didn't believe them. Wait, what, what about the lemons? Okay, look. So I put the lemon leaves in there. The lemon leaves. It smells great. Why would I waste my whole lemon? And it's not even all the way ripe yet. I'm going to let this get ripe. I'm going to go ahead and put that in some water and stuff. Let me. I was going to use these taco shells. <laughs> uh, I did it. I did it. I be fixing all kind of stuff. I be I be doing all kinds. Of I be installing window screens. I should maybe I should become a handyman, be a handy woman. But what was I getting ready to tell y'all? Oh yeah, I I I learned that somebody told me this before, but um, you know I guess it took like. I needed some. I, I didn't believe that person, so maybe somebody else needed to tell me. But yeah, I was just told I'm not submissive. This is why my relationships don't work because I'm not submissive. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm very submissive. Like, if they ask me to do something, I do it and take them to class. I'll do whatever they ask me to do. But that's not necessarily the submissive. It's I'm see. I'm thinking, I'm thinking my version of submissive is like you know, help, show up, you know, look out for, do for, you know. Uh, provide services for, you know, if he want it this way, you do it that way, like how he want it. But that's not submissive. Apparently, submissive is like, yeah, I'm going to be single. I'm going to be single. Because I wasn't raised that way. Ah! I don't know. If somebody could teach a class on submit, maybe I'll find out DYI submissiveness. <laughs> I'm a DYI. I'm a DYI submissive. It's hard to be submissive to a broke motherfucker, ain't it? <laughs> ain't it hard to be? It's it's really hard to be submissive to when you see somebody who don't got their stuff together. They want you to be submissive, but it's like, and I want you. I want to be submissive. I want you to be the leader. I want. I want the man to be the leader. But if I see you leading me down the wrong path, if I see like it's not going the way that I would like, like this is not, I don't feel safe. And you financially challenged, like, and I don't even need none of that, but you financially challenged, so then you looking at me crazy, you know, when men, they, when they see you got something coming in and then they got barely anything coming, then they looking at you crazy, then it's like. Well, I can't lay down next. I can't be sleeping next to the jealous mother. And I can't be giving giving my body up to somebody who's like jealous, insecure, don't feel good. Because then that's coming into my body. 
So I can't do that. I can't do that. And I want to be submissive. But if I don't feel safe, if I can't trust you, what? what? I like what you said, Lucky. You both have to be submissive. That's what I'm talking about. We both have to be submissive. I'll be cleaning a lot, so it's a lot of sponges and stuff. I got these off of Groupon, but I think it was ten dollars total with shipping and handling and stuff. I look, I look, I look. I'm a regular ass person that happens to be able to do extraordinary things, like fix garbage disposals, which is not really that extraordinary, but you know, I can hear, I can hear people talking right now. I can, I can hear it in my ear. Oh my God, Tiffany, why didn't you just hire, uh, hire somebody to do that? You should have, you're so rich, you should be hiring people to do stuff like that for you. Oh my God, why are you doing that on your own? Like, you're not, like, you're not poor. Like, pay somebody to do it. God gave me two hands, one brain, two ears, one mouth, two eyes, and I can pay attention. I'd rather pay attention and learn how to do it. So I don't ever have to pay nobody to do it. And then if I can't get it done, if I can't figure it out after that, then I pay somebody. Somebody said it's called compromising. Yes, compromising. When I had got married in my wedding vows, when I got married in the wedding vows, it said the pastor or the, the I would say the officiant, because I don't even know if he was a pastor. He had gold teeth and all kinds. Uh, the officiant said, do you promise to love, cherish, honor, and obey? And I said, I, ch I promise, and I repeat it, I promise to love, cherish, honor, and compromise. Ooh, everybody started laughing. Uh, my husband at the time, he was very upset. He's like, say what the pastor said. I said, I promise to love, cherish, honor, and compromise. Then the officiant said it again, and I said it again. He said, love, cherish, honor, obey. And I said, <laughs> love, cherish, honor, compromise. And that's the best you're going to get out of me. Because I do think like that's what relationships are. You know, there's compromise in, in relationships, right? You're supposed to be able to compromise and, you know, work together as a unit and look out for each other's best interests and protect each other. But I don't think it's supposed to be like a, it's not a dictatorship. It's not a dictatorship. And also, you know, I, do, I, I got some issues that I got to work on. I know there's things I got to work on. Like when you in a relationship and you out and about or whatever and your man ain't with you, you, need, you do need to be like, hey, I'm heading over here now. Or I'm staying, I'm going to stay another hour at the comedy club or, you know, stuff like that. But it be hard to do that when you've been on your own. On your own for so long. Yeah, I'm divorced in a mug. I'm divorced. She's so divorced. <laughs> She's so divorced. Yeah, I've been divorced. I'm so divorced. Been divorced. Ben's divorced, baby. Been that way, baby. For a long time now. For a long time now. Now I got to put my juices up. Now these juices. Oh my God, I just broke the bag. Oh well. I got a bunch of juices sent to me in the mail. Um, because I'm trying to get abs, so this is how I eat with the juices. So I'm gonna put these juices away. I've been eating, but I want to get like I'm on a juice. I'm gonna be on this juice diet and uh -huh. juicing it. So all these different flavors and stuff. I got the five day plan. Yeah. And it's funny because I had originally got this, these juices off of Groupon. And then I found them on Amazon, even a little cheaper. Because the Groupon price had went up a little bit. I was like, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. let me go ahead and get these off of Amazon. But yeah. I'm working on having the abs of Aaliyah. Right now, I got the abs of uh, me, <laughs> which is fine, too. My abs ain't bad, but I want, I want them 1990, 
1998 ad. You know what I'm saying? What the 2000s? Yes, juice on Amazon. Yes. Um, I plug. Somebody said you plug in group. I plug everybody that I fucks with. Okay. I plugs what I use, and I like whatever I like, and I use. Shoot. I'll be out here spending y'all top dollars. On stuff you can get the same thing at a more affordable cost. You know. And that's what I'm about. Affordability. I don't know how long this money gonna last. I mean, I know. I know it's gonna last. Like, it's gonna last. But and you know why it's gonna last? Because I shop smart. Shop smart. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna have to take that snake back to the, to the Lowe's. Got my receipts. Because I didn't need that snake. But uh, I solved the problem. Dang, it's a whole nother. I got two bags. Of, I got basically eight days worth of juice. I'm putting in the deep freezer. I'm about to drink this one. For the energy. Okay. Doggy snacks. The dog. Okay. be tired of this but when but I'm not gonna be that tired because I'm gonna be out here in a two-piece with Miss Tooth running around on the beach telling everybody to call me Gidget I'll be out there surfing in the two-piece hoping the ocean don't take away my bottoms why the ocean try to take everything you got the ocean you get in the ocean boy they ocean will snatch everything on you honey I wear that wetsuit. <sighs> okay. So I put all that away. I fixed the garbage disposal. I found out what the problem was. I put away all of the juices. <sighs> um, to all of you guys that's talking the politics stuff, I'm not on that today. I'm not on the politics. It's too, too depressing. I have no power in that way. Y'all keep on, people keep on reaching out to me like I could, like, like I got superpowers. <laughs> and maybe I do got superpowers. I fixed the garbage disposal. If fixing world problems was as easy as fixing a garbage disposal, I'd be on top of it. But it ain't that easy, boo. It ain't that easy. Um, I feel like we learned a lot today. Like, uh, search inside the drain. See what may be stopping things up before going to the dang hole depot and buying a whole wooden plunger. And <laughs> all the shit that I bought. But I did it. Now I can go take that stuff back. Um, I'm going to drink that juice. Yeah, I'll just walk back to the washing machine and get my juice. And wear my shoes. <sighs> y'all have a blessed rest of y'all evening. And, um... I wish you all the best. I'm seeing some of the things y'all saying, and it's like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeding into this stuff. Y'all, y'all really, y'all be trying it. Um, what kind of juice is it? It's like beet juice, uh, grapefruit juice, pineapple juice. This right here is some cashew, cashew milk. I need that right now. It's cashew, cinnamon, date, sea salt. H2O and safflower. Yeah, I got my task done. I did it. Mm. I'm very proud of myself. I'm proud of all of you that hung out with me. I'm going to remove my wig now. 
and go handle some business. Well, let me answer that one question. Says so somebody said, "Would you date a woman?" Wait, 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 wait. What the fuck did I say? Would you date a woman? Question mark. Love. Um, no. I think I'm about two penises away from dating women. Although it seems like it'd be easier to date a woman, um, on so many levels, but I think I'm gonna be honest with you. I am a gay man trapped in a black woman's body. So, but I'm like, I feel like I'm um, two two D's away, two two more heartbreaks, and be like, bring on the ladies. But I know that I'm a, I got I got like issues. Like I need to be with a man, cause I know me. If her titties bigger than mine, it's going to be a problem. She looked better than me one day. I just, I mean, which is fine. But there might be a little part of me that's feeling some type of way. I just, I don't think I'm, a, I don't, I honestly believe. No, that's how I got to say it. I can't be using negative words. I honestly, I honestly believe my maturity level is not where it needs to be. To be dating a woman. I'm not there yet. And I don't know if I'll ever get there. Especially when I think about. When my job. When I worked at that free clinic for a little bit. You know. Yeah I don't think I'll be. I mean, it's not for me. It's not for me. I'm drinking some cashew milk. I'm drinking cashews. Cinnamon, date, sea salt, H2O, and salt flour. But um, I appreciate y'all. And who knows? I could be wrong. Maybe I want to meet a woman that is man enough for me. <laughs> Maybe I'll mature and be like, bring on the girls. I don't know. It's just really... When I think of it right off the top of my mind, it's not my bag. But that don't mean. But I really, I love, I love that guy made penises. They're my favorite things. So. I don't know why I talk about them in plurals. It should be, I love penis. That's a penis. It doesn't matter. We know what I like. We know what she built for. Would you date Common again? <sighs> Y'all get off of that man. Leave that man where he is. He's happy. Let him be. I want him to be happy. I don't need, no. That's, that's, I ain't seen him in years, guys. Y'all really need to stop with that. Just really just knock that off. You know what, matter of fact, I'm going to leave. Thank you guys so much for um, hanging with me, helping me fix my garbage disposal. I hope you have a wonderful, fantastic evening. And for those of you that are living in the past, while well, I'm in the present, come to the future. Come to the future. Y'all see that paint right there? I love that paint. I had the I had the artist put my face on there. And I'm going to get a man like that. Mm, look at them abs. I need my abs to get. See, I can't be wanting a man with abs like that if I got these abs. Like, I got to pull my abs together. So, I'm going to pull it together. All right. Love you guys. Deuces.